reaction. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay, Hi guys. actually, Instagram was late, but yeah. <laughs> so, welcome. We are live. We are live. Coming to you live <laughs> from... I was about to do that! <laughs> Let's all do it together. Three, two, one. Coming, Coming to you live, live from... from... I tried to harmonize with what you guys were saying. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> I tried to harmonize while we were talking. <laughs> to you live from <laughs> no that's like what me and Faith are talking about a little while ago we we're talking about how creepy it would be if like people would harmonize, harmonize when, when they spoke talking. no he's just like <laughs> talking <laughs> okay so I really so. wish you guys could see our um whole setup here it's yeah. very professional Wait, it's like it's falling over. um yeah if it totally collapses and we're like mid-conversation it's just like and everything like falls over it's just falling off books yeah <laughs> we'll like we'll fix it but. yeah Hopefully it doesn't happen. It'd kind of be funny if it did, though. Yes. Um, we'd probably scream, because that's what we do. Because um, we're girls, you know. Wait, why are you touching it? Don't touch it. I'm just kind mm. of readjusting it. Just a teeny tad bit. It's like lopsided, Good morning, Miss Kimberly. <laughs> morning. All right, guys. Will. Good morning from Southwest Michigan. Woo-woo. Stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we <Okay>. didn't rehearse <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow. So, let's just kind of get into why we're live and it's kind of like how our heart is shaping out to me this sounds really weird how we want to move <laughs> forward with mindset mondays <laughs> so um first of all if you guys don't know what mindset monday is um it's kind of something we've been doing um for the last year was it a year um but it's just a way that God has just put on our hearts to really um, share our heart for our music. Not just with the music, but really the heart behind the music. Yeah. Um, Did you want to share something? No, like, it's just agreeing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so our music is um, obviously something that we're very passionate about. We yeah. don't just write music just for fun. It is fun doing it. Um, yeah. But that's not the only reason why we do it. Um, we do have a lot of depth behind what we write and we try to be very pointed. Um, and we have a heart to speak to the different mindsets that everyone is going through. Because if there's one thing that all human beings have in common, it is different mindsets, things that we're all mm -hmm. working through as human beings. And so we really have a heart to write to that because it's something very relatable to everybody. Yep. And so, um, we don't just write to it, but we also want to join the conversation and talk about it. Yeah. So normally what we do for mindset Monday is one of us would hop on and we kind of just share, um, what, whatever mindset had been on our heart that week, either through like our devotions or through a conversation that had come up. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're kind of changing it up. We want to do something a little bit different. Um, and faith actually had this idea to go live, um, and allow you guys to join the conversation. Um, and for us three all to be able to talk about it a little bit with you guys, um, and just kind of hang out. So we're just going to be talking about it. We're, it's something that we're going to be doing like once a month. We're going to be <laughs> like the last Monday of yeah. every month. Yeah. So we'll still be doing Mindset Mondays throughout the month as well. Like every Monday, one of us will be doing a Mindset Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but just the last Monday of every month, you can count on us all being here and it being mm -hmm. live. Yeah. And so, so you have you like any questions can, or anything yeah. that you've had throughout um, the month that you just want to talk about, um, we can bring that to the table on the last Monday of every month. Just talk about that conversation or something that maybe mindsets that you have um been you know dealing with or just like having revelations about or whatever it is um we can bring it to the table and that's going to be a space where you can join the conversation yeah because so. ultimately we want this to be a platform for y'all yeah like this is our page is a platform for you guys mm -hmm. um, because that's why we're here. We're here for you. <laughs> it's all for you. <laughs> so, with that said, um, let's get started. Yeah. Let's get started with the mindset. So, how today. it's going to kind of go is we're going to just kind of chat. You guys are feel free to like comment and stuff. Um, we're just going to chat about um, a mindset for a little bit, um, which we'll tell you in a minute. And then at the end of it, we're going to open it up for um, discussion for you guys. So please feel free to like engage because this is something that we want to be kind of like we're having coffee with you, just talking 
Um, we about. do not have all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's something that it's a conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's so important is we need to be able to have conversations with each other and work through these things and work out our salvation. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Um, so the topic of uh, this Mindset Monday that we're all going to be chatting about um, actually has to do with our release <laughs> of our latest song, Destiny. So if you guys haven't heard it, don't go listen to it now. Wait till after. But <laughs> um, <laughs> Or maybe you can like to listen to it while we're on the live. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. Can Find a way. Me? Pull up your we computer. Um, but you guys can go ahead and make sure you check that out. Um, we did just come out with it. We're so excited. Um, but we're going to ch- kind of chat about it cause it is called destiny. And so we kind of want to talk a little bit about the heart behind the song. Yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> destiny, do you want to take it away? <laughs> you want to start? Um, sure. I feel a little like I'm put on the spot. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, we'll just start with like kind of just your belief and thoughts about what destiny even is and how do you follow your destiny yeah so um this was a song that we all went into the studio and we're like all right we had no idea what we we're gonna be writing that day um that happens sometimes we just sit down and sometimes we come into the studio and we're like oh we have all these ideas yeah. and other times we're going to the studio and we're like Starting what are we gonna yeah zero. Mm-hmm. what are we gonna write today and we kind of just leave it in the hands of god <laughs> um and so we went into the studio and this song kind of just was birthed out of the heart of just really wanting to there's like this really big divide right now um i don't think that you have to be um i don't know there's just this really, a lot of tension, a lot of like, just this divide between like good and evil. And we were actually, um, had recently put together kind of this really cool thing. And we were reading through, um, the beginning of Genesis where it talks about God dividing the light from the darkness Mm -hmm. and how like in the very beginning, God divided, he literally says in Genesis and I divided, I called the light day and I called the darkness night and he divided that that was something that was divided from the very beginning mm-hmm. and that's something that you're going to see throughout our whole entire life through all of history and the future to come mm-hmm. is there is a divide between good and evil and destiny was kind of written from that perspective of everyone has a choice to make yeah and for us we've made that choice we've yeah. made a choice in our life to follow jesus we've made a choice in our life to follow the truth which is the light of the world, and we've chosen to be that. We've chosen to receive that, and so for us, we wanted to write a song that challenges other people to make a choice. Yeah. That destiny ultimately is is all about choices that you're making that lead you to your future. Mm-hmm. And so for us, we kind of wanted to write that song from our perspective of being like, you know what, we have made our choice. We know where we're going. No matter what choices, (laughs) no matter what happens on this earth, we have made a decision to follow Jesus. And so we know at the end of that, that's eternity. No matter the other things that happen in between there in this life. Mm -hmm. And so for us, there's not really any going back from that. There is just only moving forward. And so that's kind of the heart behind the song. But um, do you guys have any thing you want to say (laughs) yeah and I think also when we like if when you guys listen to it if you have or haven't yet um it's a shorter song it's not like your typical cookie cutter three minute song it's like a minute and a half or something like that it's like 40 something seconds yeah it's it's a short song but I just remember when we were writing it thinking um like we actually had this little discussion of like do we need to make it longer do Mm -hmm. we need to like do we need to we need to add a rapper yeah (laughs) where's jones (laughs) no um but we we basically came to the conclusion that you know what no we said what needed to be said this Mm -hmm. is what needs to be said and that's all we need we just needed to say this and um we just wanted the message to be really clear but i think also a really important line in that song is the time's up Mm -hmm. we say time's up i made my choice you know like and that's really important because mm-hmm. 
we don't know. Mm -hmm. you, you just don't know if you have another day. You don't know what tomorrow holds, if it holds anything for you. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes for all of us. And so it's important to pursue your destiny because for all you know, now is all you got. Yeah. yeah. So you have to pursue it, and you have to pursue it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love like that. it's very time sensitive. Yeah, I love that. And I was gonna share too. Um, I love in the song we say it wasn't real hard for me, um, and then we say I just follow my destiny, and I think that that is <clears throat> something that sometimes when you think about destiny, you may think of it like, oh. God, give me a call for my life and let me devote my life to that one call. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that can kind of trip you up a little bit. Like the word destiny might trip you up a little bit because sometimes we get too um, categorized when we're thinking about um, our our purpose on this world, or for this world and on, mm -hmm. on this world. And But really there's, there's a lot of aspects to that. And mm -hmm. I think that God doesn't just give you life for literally only to do one thing like we have one purpose which is to to honor God and to worship God and to love God and give him glory mm -hmm. but through that our one mission is to make disciples of all nations and share that with other people yes but there's many ways of doing that mm -hmm. so it's not just God um give me this I just need to hear your voice and let me hear this one call that you have for my life so that I can go be a missionary to Haiti, only that. That's my only call. Maybe, maybe God does do that, but I highly doubt God isn't going to use you in the meantime till you get there or, you know, elsewhere, you know? Like, God doesn't only have only one thing for you. He has much for you. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things when we said, um, it wasn't real hard for me, I just followed my destiny, is because we believe fully that um, you don't have to try to overcomplicate something. Like, it's you don't have to overcomplicate God. God has you right here, right now for a reason. And the all you have to do is just be willing to move forward in the Lord. And he will, he will guide your steps to your destiny more mm -hmm. like the future he has for you, yeah. whatever that looks like. Yeah. And that starts with here. There mm -hmm. is a journey. And so... Um, you can have confidence in the moment you are right now because this is your growing ground to move forward in your life and to move forward into what God actually has for you. It starts now. It doesn't start when God gives me the calling, then I then I take action. No, the action starts now. Mm -hmm. The action starts where you are right now because this is where God has you. He is walking you through things. Sometimes it doesn't feel good, but those things are always preparation for what he has for you, which is a journey. The journey is the reward, not just the end goal. So yeah. that's what I was, those are kind yeah. of my and, thoughts. <laughs> um, we kind of were talking about like, you know, destiny isn't something that you just, I guess our heart for that song too, and the heart behind destiny is don't just let your destiny be whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, don't too. just let it be whatever. The choices that you make, God has given every single person free will, mm -hmm. okay? And you are responsible for that. Yeah. And because we're responsible for that, we're responsible for our choices, meaning we're responsible for what our destiny is going to be. Yeah. You yeah. have a choice. God knows, it says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. He already knows the plans that he would have for you. The question is, do you know those plans? <laughs> because those plans are always going to be greater than what you have in your head. Yeah. Whatever you've dreamt up or whatever you are hoping for in your destiny, if it does not involve God, if he is not the end goal of that, then you are missing out. You are missing out. Yeah. And so really it's being able to go own, own your choices. Your choices, not just your choices, they're not just going to affect your destiny. They're going to affect the destiny of those of you, those around you. Mm -hmm. And so it's so important that when talking about destiny, first and foremost, you go to God and you go, what is your destiny? What is your plans? What are those plans? Because if it's good, mm -hmm. and if you're thinking about my best intent in mind, I'm coming to you first. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to God first and then going and reflecting on that yourself mm -hmm. and going, are the choices and the relationships of the people around me, if they're all intertwined, if we're all, like, if I do something in my life, it is going to affect the people around me. It is going to affect my sisters. Mm -hmm. It is going to affect those looking um, up to me, my younger siblings. It's going to affect people around me. People so, who don't even know are 
right. watching yeah. you. And so Especially also social media. Those people around you going are the choices I'm making and the people around me because if I'm affecting them then they're affecting me. So it's really important also about who you have around you yeah. and where that's pointing you in your destiny. And mm-hmm. so taking a kind of exam, I guess this week I've personally been examining those things in my life. Like, are the choices that I'm making, are they lined up with those good things that God has intended for me? Yeah. Uh, is the end goal of that going, I'm reaching out with my choices. I'm reaching up towards God yeah. and I'm reaching up towards that greatness. And also who do I have around me? Are they helping me towards that goal? Yeah. And what I, what I believe about myself is so important too. Because if you do not, your belief system is so important. Because if you do not believe about yourself, that God could use you mm-hmm. for something great, or what you believe about your destiny is going to be correlated about what you believe about yourself. Mm-hmm. And she I meant to turn it she off. She answered a scam call. I was like, don't answer it. Me, green, go. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, gosh, I almost knocked it over. <laughs> oh, yeah. so painful to but, watch. <laughs> OMG, I don't even know where you were just, where you were just oh, at. Oh, gosh. But, yeah, I don't know either. Kind of I think it's also important to, like, give yourself reality checks <laughs> at how am I, like, taking steps to know, um, like, where God is is going like to be in the will of God because what I've learned is you don't want to be out of the will of God okay (laughs) you want to be in the will of God and guess what God isn't gonna withhold you from that he's not gonna withhold his himself from you he he he's very open about it his word is right there like you have access to his word you can have it on your phone there's no excuses to how you cannot be growing and even if it's not even though you're not, maybe not be on a stage, quote unquote, with like thousands of people listening to you, God, that's not God. That's not what God is asking. Like God wants you in the moment. God wants you pursuing Him, and He's the one. If you were to ever be given a stage, who would be actually taking the stage? It wouldn't be you anyway. So I think it's important to be giving yourself like heart checks and like, God, am I pursuing you? Am I, am I walking in Your will? Like, how can I move forward? And I can tell you right now, if you're just in the Word, you're moving forward towards God. Mm-hmm. If you're in the Word, you're moving forward towards God because He's He. the Word is living. The Word is living, and it's for you. It's for your access. It's for your growth. And so that is one step that you can do right now, today. You can start today. If you don't think you're in the right direction, start right now. And God will put you on His path. Yeah, and I think, um, I think part of why we personally felt the need to address this topic of destiny was because our M.O. as royals <laughs> is the who you are, whose you are, and the, the family, family you belong, belong to. to. Mm-hmm. So destiny is a really, really foundational thing in all of those three things. Mm-hmm. It's a huge part of who you are. It's directly related to whose you are, and it involves the family you belong to. Yeah. And so it it really is deeply rooted in everything that we're about. And so it's just such an important topic for to, for us to talk about with mm-hmm. you guys, and hopefully for you guys to understand. Um, not that we have all the answers, but mm-hmm. just something that we all should be seeking together because um, it really is an important identity. It's important part of your identity, and. Um, like Faith was saying, another way you could describe destiny is just a will, like God's yeah. will. And um, I think people sometimes get caught up on the idea of fate as like this like uncontrollable thing. Yeah. Like it's just, it's gonna, just gonna happen, happen to, you. to you. You don't have any kind um, of control. <laughs> yeah, and um, I think the the big thing that we are addressing is really. A will because destiny like every we believe that God put made everything God is the creator and so God has willed a destiny for his creation Mm -hmm. and on purpose and so when you look at God's will you will find your destiny and um, how, where you find his will is in his word. Mm-hmm. And I would really, really encourage you guys because, again, it is, it's such a, like, 
it feels like such a big deal because it is of just like oh man I gotta I gotta find my my calling I gotta find my destiny. Yeah, just tell like, me I'll be the first yeah, to go just tell me right now yeah, what it is just yeah I just need to find it and it feels like everybody else around you has it and you don't and I would just really encourage you in that if you're seeking God's will it's enough Mm-hmm. It really is. Like, you don't have to come up with all the answers because God has all the answers. You have people around and, you everywhere. Yeah. And as long as you are longing for that, God is going to answer. Mm-hmm. And it may not be now. It may not be in this moment. It may be through something that you weren't expecting. But he will answer because he answers when his people call. Yeah. And he loves a heart that is after his. Mm -hmm. And so if that is where your heart is, God sees that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he does want to answer you. And maybe if you're not hearing him, just maybe, you might not be listening. So think about how you're listening. Are, how are you receiving from God? And how are, are you, you just talking to, to him? Yeah. Are you just talking to him? Because, man, I, I tell you what, I know that when I pray, I come right out of the gate with blah, 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 blah. I start talking. And I just start talking to God, praying. But how how much time do we spend letting God talk to us? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. if we just yeah. talk the whole time, you're really not having a conversation with the Lord. The conversation is something where you, we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. It's both ways. Like, a conversation is when two people are talking. And so if you just talk the whole time, you're really not having a conversation. Um, You're really just talking. You're just filling the ear of the other one, not giving them an opportunity to answer all your questions. (laughs) There's a difference between talking and, like, actually having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, that's kind of what we want to do, too, uh, is add you guys into this conversation. So we just want to know your thoughts. Um about destiny and kind of your thoughts maybe about something that we said or just anything we want to have you guys join the conversation so feel free to comment or whichever sorry Um, (laughs) i have such a bad habit i pop everything y'all i like pop on my knuckles like like sorry um yeah so what destiny said is that pretty much you can um request to join the live and we'd love to have a conversation but if you don't feel comfortable with that or if you don't you're not in a situation where you actually can go live um you can go ahead and pop any questions or just add to the conversation in the comments and we'd love to continue to talk with y'all um just gonna read one of these comments i saw thank you so much let's see miss kimberly Sometimes the message is not three minutes, and sometimes it's longer than three minutes. I'm glad you didn't fill the song with lyrics in three minutes. I like the song needs to straight mm-hmm. to the point. Yes, uh, thank you so much for that encouragement. It really means yeah. a lot. Um, it is important when we're um, writing that we are making sure that we aren't just writing from ourselves, that we're writing from a place that... Um, a place that aligns with God, and um, that encouragement really means a lot to us. Yeah. Mhm. Let's see. Really struggle with listening. Mm. Well, first of all, it's awesome that you can um, realize your weaknesses because your weaknesses aren't your, aren't um, who you are. They're just a part of your growth. So if you know that you're weak in something, it's actually really good because now you can counter that and um, allow God to be the strength in that weakness. Um, So I I love that you are able to recognize that and um, that that gives you every opportunity to be able to work at it. So I love that. Thank Mm -hmm. you for sharing that. Yeah, listening is something that, um, especially in such a big family, like, is definitely something that I personally struggle with, too, because... <laughs> I think a little bit of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of one of those things where when you are in such a large family, you tend to, like, whoever is, like, the loudest, because there's so many people talking, and you just yeah. want, you want to be heard, and, it, like, yeah, being heard is so important, but, like, also... For me personally, like, taking a step back and going, you know what, it's okay if I'm not heard. Like, 
if someone else is literally making the same point that I am. Yeah. <laughs> and so, <Or> also, <laughs> so I'm just like, mm, okay. Yeah. Or also it's really easy because we, so we're from a family of 10 kids. And so we have a lot of younger siblings mm -hmm. who don't have quite as loud of voices. Um, and so, so we, can be loud. we can be very loud. Volume level goes way up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's also really important as just sisters, um, to listen for when they do add to the conversation and where that's coming from and being able to build into that. Um, those are intentional efforts that you have to make um, to listen to other people um, and also just point that out and just bring them into the conversation, make sure they feel validated or just a part. And that's an intentional um, intentional effort you have to make to have family, but I think that's in everything. You sometimes have friends and um, whoever's around you. People are always trying to be a part and um, especially when it's something worth being a part of and so when people are trying to be a part make sure you recognize them because mm -hmm. they're definitely there <laughs> yeah and I think it's important um, like something like listening it's it's something that we have to practice and yeah. that's okay like yeah. it's important to recognize that we have to practice this yeah and I think like I I know that it's like really easy to like say like oh I struggle with this but then it's a whole nother thing to actually like take that and realization and go okay but how am I actually going to right. practice it then like if this is something I struggle with then how am I gonna practice it and um, there's like some really really great books that talk about um, practicing like spiritual disciplines and stuff and listening is part of that yeah. and they like these authors give you such great um, tools like real tools you can use to practice like um, for listening you would uh, basically practice something like choosing a specific time every day that you're going to remove yourself from your environment your normal environment with all of its normal distractions and actually go to a place where you can listen Mm -hmm. um, and I love that because that is so much what we see Jesus model um, all the time in the scripture. We see it, the gospels say, and Jesus went away to a place of solitude. Mm -hmm. And Jesus went away to a place of solitude. And think about it, even Jesus had to listen. Mm -hmm. Even Jesus had to go before God and be quiet yeah. and be still and listen and receive because at the end of the day, we can only give out what we have received. Well, also, yeah, sometimes you can also just be distracted. Mm -hmm. um, some, we live in a very busy world. And there's a yeah. lot of distractions. Your phone is a distraction, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, all of a sudden you're doing your devotions and ding, your phone goes off and you're like, what if it's an emergency? Most of the time it's not. But you just look and then you're all of a sudden scrolling on Instagram or something. You're like, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be in the Word. So, also, I think back to what you were saying about how Jesus had to remove himself even from his disciples to mm -hmm. have that time with God even though he was God himself he still had that time with his father and um how much more should we you know like um having making sure that we are setting apart that um time and going and removing ourselves from distractions whether or not it's your siblings your family yeah. they can be distractions too in a in a good way sometimes yeah. but in the in the um context of your devotions and mm -hmm. things like that i think i would encourage you yeah to just remove any distractions yeah and and distractions can be good things too yeah <laughs> yeah um i just want to like pipe in here real quick and um kind of come back to that destiny um point in our mindset monday um is also i just want to say for anybody on here who just doesn't believe that like your life has a destiny if you feel like there's just nothing at the end of that for you if you just really feel like you're like if you were to like look into your future and you just see nothing like i just want to say like if there is breath in your lungs mm -hmm. if you are living then you have a destiny and the only way that you really truly are able to see forward and see hope and see into your destiny is only through God mm -hmm. because he is the only certain thing at the end of all of this and yeah. so if you feel like you're just like sitting there like I don't have a destiny and you don't have hope for that I just want to tell you there is hope there yep. is a light at the end of the tunnel for you because God has given you a purpose 
he doesn't breathe life without a purpose intended for them. Yep. And so he has a purpose for you and that's for you to know him. And you don't have to walk around blind. You don't have to walk around every day with whatever comes and just live your life. Like, that's just so boring, right? Like, that's so boring <laughs> to just live your life every day like, oh, whatever happened, happens. No. Like, the choices you make are so, 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 so important. And you have a choice that can go, I'm going to reach forward into the hope of eternity. I'm going to reach forward into the hope of a life that is life giving. Yeah, yeah. And that's ultimately what we've been called to is God is a God that breathes life. Yep. He's a God that we now um, have living inside of us. Like we have a relationship with him. We're able to also be life giving. Yeah. And so I just want to say like, there's nobody on here that has hopped on that God has not designed a plan for your life. Yeah. He has a plan for your life. And if you don't know him, you need to know him because there's <laughs> something really good in store for you that you have waited your whole life for that you don't even know. Yeah. You yeah. do not even know. And so I just really want to encourage you, if that is you, feel please feel free to message us because we like to continue that conversation with you um, because it is so important. Like without that, you really can't see forward into your future because there's nothing certain beside God. Yeah. Aside from him. Yeah. Yeah. And I would add to what Dustin was saying too, with, um, like if you wonder or question if there is really a destiny for your life, let me just put this in perspective for you. God created everything in six days, everything ever known to, to anything mm -hmm. God created in six days, the entire universe. Okay. Six days. But you, he spent nine months working on you. Nine months carefully knitting you together in your mother's womb. And I think that says a lot about what God has planned for you. I think yeah. it says a lot about you as a carrier of the breath of life. Mm -hmm. And I think it says a lot about how much God truly does look at you as an important piece of his plan yeah. and that shouldn't be taken lightly like you really can grab onto that you really can because that's just science folks that's just pure folks. science god spent nine whole months making you yeah so that says something <laughs> that says something okay <laughs> all right well it's been really great um hanging out with you guys on here yes. um again we just really wanted to have a platform where we can talk with y'all um because this is just this is what social media is for um it's, it's yeah it's to be social everybody um if i could like literally sit down and have coffee with every single one of you i personally i'm an extrovert i would love to do that yeah. i would love to sit down and talk with every single one of you yeah um and we could talk all day um but that's really why we wanted to have this time of doing a Mindset Monday all together with you guys alive yep. um, to continue a conversation and yep. to be able to talk with you all and hear from you guys, like, what's going on. Like, I think that's a way to be really in touch with just what everyone's dealing with. I think that we would be surprised if everyone sat down and talked together about how much we actually had in common about what yeah. we were thinking about. Yeah. So... Um, we're really happy that we got to hop on here. I'm going to pray to kind of close this out. Um, again, you guys feel free to message us anytime. We're always ready to have conversations with people because we have a heart for people. We just love people. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pray. Yeah. And dear God, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for every single person that hopped on here. God, we thank you that you have designed a destiny for each and every one of them. That you didn't create them just for another creation to be here and gone, God, that you have purpose for each and every one of their lives. And I pray that today and throughout this week, God, that they would begin to come to you for that purpose because they're not going to find it outside of you. God, everything that they try to seek purpose in and affirmation in and revelation in, they're not going to find it apart from you. It's just going to turn up empty. And so, God, I pray that they would go to you because you are the giver of all life. And because you're the giver of all life, you know all life. And you know that the plans that you have for them are good. Mm -hmm. And so, God, I pray that just the choices that they make today, that they would just take an examination maybe of their life and go are the things that I am involved in, are the choices that I'm making, are the relationships around me pointing me towards that, 
towards you, yep. pointing me towards that life, pointing me towards a greatness, a greater purpose, because you have intended to literally dwell with man. You're here with us. And so God, I pray that they would just grab hold of your hand and that they would run towards you with everything that they have. And God, we just thank you for this time. We thank you that we get to talk about you. We thank you that we get to continue the conversation. We thank you that God, we can even connect um, with our brothers and sisters from all across the United States, from all across the globe, Father. And um, that we, yeah, can just share and glorifying you through everything that we do. And so, Lord, we just pray that you bless this time, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I do want to just let you know that, again, we do we do Mindset Mondays every week, but um, we're going to be doing the live Mindset Mondays every last Monday of the month. So just uh, continue along with the journey. We're so excited to have you all. And, uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys. <laughs> Go kill it. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> See, I'm I know how to turn this off. <laughs> Finish. But how do I turn this off? Finish.